I hate filming in my car. <laughs> food day and don't use that as an excuse to go eat fast food but I decided to use that excuse to make a video and I know this channel is all about nutrition and health which means fast food is a big <laughs> I thought I have to go to the mothership I have to go to the mothership of fast food McDonald's I actually went to McDonald's I have not stepped foot in at least this McDonald's for about six years uh, I used to eat McDonald's a lot. That was back when I didn't understand nutrition. I don't know how I stayed so skinny and I got away with eating like that. I honestly don't. So I thought I'd try and make some kind of order of some food that I might eat. I would like to watch a video like this so I thought I'd try and make it. But because this channel is all about nutrition I wanted to say like hey if you like McDonald's but you want to make healthier options or if you want to make healthy options and the only thing open is McDonald's, then these are some items that I would say that you can have at McDonald's. So, wow, this guy's making me sketched out. First thing I got was a breakfast order, an egg McMuffin. I was gonna do an egg white McMuffin, but they didn't have it. A lot of people liked, would think I'd say parfait, but I just don't do well with all carb breakfasts and I can't have yogurt because I'm lactose intolerant. So that was a veto for me. I really don't like fast food. All right, so this is the egg McMuffin. So if you just got an egg white delight McMuffin by itself, so the original recipe is 260 calories, eight grams of fat. It also has 4.5 grams of saturated fat. 29 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, and 3 grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. I asked for absolutely no butter. They have two types of butter. Really, like, why Why do you even need butter? Just don't. If you want to eat healthy at McDonald's, don't put butter on anything. And I also asked for no cheese, because obviously I can't have that. And the way I do this is going to seem a little, a little weird. This is a lot of carbs for my little protein. So what I do when I'm in this kind of situation is I remove one of the breads and then I use the Canadian bacon as like a bread kind of. So I toss this. This little bread right here is I'm throwing away 70 calories. I don't need that and unwanted carbs. So I eat just this. It's way easier for me. I feel way less guilty and I don't have as much of a sugar crash. Oh, that was a lot of egg yolk. Yep, I just bit into the egg yolk. That wasn't that bad. Now if you eat it the way that I did it, it is 110 calories, one gram of fat. We're going a lot more down to fat. There's zero saturated fat. So we're taking that saturated fat by removing the butter. 14 grams of carbs, way less carbs from going from 29 grams of carbs to 14 grams of carbs is a big difference in 12 grams of protein. It's still a little high in carbs, like ideally you just have the egg and Canadian bacon, but that's only leaving you at like 40 calories. So that's not even a stinking meal. I mean, let's be honest. So for a lunch option, and this is something that I'm not gonna consume because I can't have cheese but this wouldn't be a healthy way to eat McDonald's if I didn't talk about a salad. So out of all the salads, I think the best salad at McDonald's is the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad. Because I can't really tip it for you guys to see it. Now, I understand that we all love bacon, but we really don't need that on a salad. So much sodium an unnecessary fat to a salad. So for the bacon ranch grilled chicken salad, so the original recipe, which is what I got here, is 320 calories. So it's still really low, as in like, you could totally eat this for lunch. With the original recipe, it's 14 grams of fat, six of, six of those grams are saturated fat, and then 1,230 milligrams of sodium. That is what kills me. You were eating a salad a salad. I'm gonna go on a rant. Nine grams of carbs, three of which are fiber, four of which are sugar, and protein, which is 42 grams of protein. I would have removed the bacon, the cheese, and used low-fat balsamic vinaigrette dressing. 
but then it would have just been tomatoes, lettuce, and chicken. So I thought, none of you guys would want that. That's not a fun salad. I go to McDonald's for fun. So that's why I thought this would be a healthier option because, you know, if you wanted to eat healthier options, but you don't want to get rid of everything you love about McDonald's, this would be a good option. And I really like that McDonald's changed their salad mix. It's not just plain iceberg lettuce. They have iceberg, they have kale even in here, and they have spinach. So it's a much more well-rounded salad mix. So I would definitely recommend this salad. Now this is the thing I'm actually going to eat. And this is something I would, this would for sure be my order. But it is a little weird and a little complicated because I'm kind of making it up. And those are honestly the best fast food. So first I ordered the pico guacamole with grilled chicken sandwich. And then I got two side salads. Some of my way. So this original sandwich is 550 calories, 20 grams of fat. This is also 1,320 milligrams of sodium, 49 grams of carbs. We do not need that. 12 grams of which are sugar and only four grams are fiber. And then 43 grams of protein. When I looked at the stats of that, I realized, okay, I need to get rid of the cheese and the sauce. One, I'm just gonna get rid of the cheese, I can't eat it. And then the sauce for sure I was getting rid of. But that didn't really decrease it enough. And so I realized I just can't eat that much bread. So. So what I'm gonna do is, one, I'm gonna grab one of these side salads. These are so cheap. Uh, it's only 15 calories, obviously. I mean, it has like three tomatoes in it. But this is like a nice bed of greens. First, what I'm gonna do is take the chicken and set it on top with the bed of lettuce, and then I'm gonna scoop the guacamole on top of the chicken. So all that's left in here are the two pieces of bread that I don't need. You don't need to consume that. It's just unneeded carbs. You're replacing the carbs you get from bread with these greens. This is something I actually would eat. So basically what I have here is I have a bed of greens, some tomatoes, uh, chicken, so really high, that's where I'm getting my protein. And then I have the guacamole with some pico in it. And that's where I'm getting my healthy fats from. So this is just a way to get carbs, protein, and fats. Where's a knife? I draw my knife. I am just a hot mess. So for my little secret item menu that I made, which maybe this will become a thing. Maybe McDonald's will hit me up and be like, you know what, Haley, that was a great idea. We want you to partner up with our actual dietitians and come up with some new recipes. And then, I will faint because that's all I wanted to do with my degree. So hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. Anyway, this is 210 calories. So it's low calorically, like you can't make this your entire lunch, but it's definitely good if you eat small meals like me. Like this is seven grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 740 milligrams of sodium, nine grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 30 grams of protein. So just to sum up, <laughs> For my little dish, you're only getting seven grams of fat, nine grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. I should actually look on the receipt and tell you guys how much that would be. So this would be about seven bucks. So I'm going to dig into this, but Ryan and I are going on a road trip soon. So maybe I'll order this. Mmm, yeah. For sure, I would make this. This is a much healthier salad than all the other salads McDonald's has. McDonald's, you're growing on me because your guacamole is off the chain. I got this in a drive-thru and that is good guacamole. And by the way, you guys, I got all this from McDonald's website. They actually have a nutrition calculator on there and you guys should really take advantage of it. So once again, you guys, I am not a fast food expert by any means, but this is just what I would order at fast food restaurants, especially the king of fast food which is McDonald's. McDonald's is 
flipping everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I totally ruined McDonald's for you, I am sorry. But if you found one of these food items that you might try, I bet I did my job. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any fast food places that you want me to come up with Haley approved items for you, please comment below what that fast food restaurant is. And if you always want to stay in the loop of when my videos come up, please hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, have an amazing rest of your day. Mwah. Oh my gosh, I'm like doing, I'm doing so bad in this video. This is what happens when I do not plan a video. I just freaking make it. Okay.